Well, hello everyone. My name is Professor Brian Mancom, and if you're watching this video, that means you've enrolled in my Certificate of Professional Practice in the Epidemiology and Control of Non-Communicable Diseases. I want you to think of this brief video that you're watching today as a video syllabus for the class in which we're going to talk about why the class was developed, the goals for the class, how the class is going to uh, take place, my expectations for you throughout the class, and any other questions that might come up as we go along. So to start out with, let's talk about why a certificate of professional practice in the epidemiology and control of non-communicable diseases. I don't need to tell you that we have a problem with non-communicable diseases here in the Pacific. You already know that. You already know that tragically we're becoming one of the unhealthiest regions on the globe. We're literally being destroyed by unhealthy choices related to obesity and the consequences of that obesity, such as type 2 diabetes, cardiovascular disease, cancers, and so on and so forth. Well. As an epidemiologist, I'm here to tell you that one of the solutions that we have to that problem is better epidemiological data and better use of epidemiological methods to both control and to prevent non-communicable diseases. But as you also know, there's a lack of epidemiology capacity throughout the region right now. So what's the solution to this? Well, tragically, I can't produce epidemiologists. I just don't have the time and the capacity to do that. That's something that we'll have to leave to the devices of organizations like the College of Micronesia, Fiji National University, and PIHOA through courses like the Data and Decision Making course that's available right now in the region. But what I can do as one individual working as a consultant epidemiologist for an organization like PIHOA is I can do capacity building. I can help you develop the tools and the knowledge so that even though you may not be an epidemiologist per se, you can have the same tools and knowledge to use at a very basic level in your practice of public health throughout the region. So that's the goal of this Certificate of Professional Practice in Epidemiology and Control of Non-Communicable Diseases is to improve our epidemiological capacity in areas like public health practitioners, nurses, medical officers, NGOs, business and educational institutions, and all those who are currently working in areas related to or directly involved in public health as it relates to non-communicable diseases. So once again, the goal is not necessarily to turn you into epidemiologists, but the goal is to give you some of the tools of epidemiology as they relate to non-communicable diseases. So what do you need to know about the course? Well, first of all, I want you to take a deep breath and imagine you're sitting on the beach somewhere calm and relaxed because that's how I want you to feel in this course. I don't want you to feel overwhelmed. I don't want you to feel overburdened. I don't want you to feel stress and anxiety. What I want you to feel is that this is a nice, happy, low stress introduction to not only epidemiology but in particular to epidemiology as it relates to non-communicable diseases. Now because of that, I want you to know there are no exams and there's no projects involved in this class. It's just practical information and skills that I want to give to you that hopefully you can use in your day-to-day -day practice. Okay. Now, the other thing you need to know is because this is going to be so low-key, it's going to allow you to keep doing your normal work every day, but at the same time, it's going to allow you to improve your skills as they relate to epidemiology and non-communicable diseases. So how are we going to do that? Well, we're going to do it through pre-recorded video lectures, just like this one. Video lectures that, once again, are low-key, but they allow you to listen and watch when you can, when you have the free time. Hopefully it's something that your supervisor at work is going to support and maybe they'll give you time throughout your busy workday to listen to these pre-recorded video lectures. Now something you need to know is that this can be used as a standalone professional development course. All right, This is something that you can take away knowledge and skills and attributes that you can apply on a day-to-day -day basis in your work. Okay. 
or it can be used to help you prepare for future study in the fields of epidemiology and non-communicable diseases. An example of that would be the DDM course, the data and decision-making course that's currently being offered across the US API by PIHOA, the Secretary of the Pacific Community, and Fiji National University and other partners as a graduate level qualification. All right, So it can be a nice introduction to that. It can be a nice way of testing the waters of epidemiology to see whether or not you want to go on and take additional graduate level work. It's also a nice preparatory course if you'd like to take the Masters of Public Health through Fiji National University. And I'm excited to announce that that Masters of Public Health is largely available online now. And also, so is the Masters of Public Health that specifically focuses on NCDs. So if you want to know more about that and how the Epidemiology and Control of Non-Communicable Diseases Certificate of Professional Practice can prepare you for graduate study, get in touch with me through my email address. So you might be asking yourself, what is a certificate of professional practice? Well, I want to point out that it's a career-oriented program. Like I said, it's to give you skills and knowledge that you can use beginning today in your professional careers, no matter what sector of the economy you're involved with. It's designed to increase your knowledge and skills in a specific area. And it's more advanced than a certificate of professional development. You know, those CPDs that I've been offering online at my YouTube page. Hint, hint, go out and watch those. So it's more in-depth than that, all right? It's to prepare you to apply skills and knowledge. And it's something that I hope you can use to show your managers and your human resources department that you're a dedicated professional and you're willing to take yourself to the next step in providing quality public health and other services throughout the region. So how is it that you're going to learn in this Certificate of Professional Practice? Well, as I've already mentioned, and as you can already see from this presentation, we're going to use pre-recorded video lectures, just like this. Now, each one of these video lectures is going to be about one hour long. So it's a nice digestible size for you and something that hopefully you can, you can watch at work with the permission of your manager, or maybe you can download and watch in the evenings at home. But not an overwhelming amount of time, just about an hour each. Now, as you already know from some of the promotional material I've sent out to you, there's going to be 10 lectures, 10 of these pre-recorded video lectures, and one of them is going to be released every month. And as you know, we're going to begin next Monday on the 15th of February, 2016, and we're going to end on November 2016. Okay, so what does that mean? Well, that means that I'm going to release one of these video, pre-recorded video lectures each month for you to watch. And if you complete all 10 of the pre-recorded video lectures, well then congratulations, you're going to receive that certificate of professional practice. Now, some of you have asked how they're going to be brought to you. Well, I'm going to make them available online using YouTube. Why YouTube? Well, because it's an excellent video platform, and more importantly, it's free. By using YouTube, I can afford to bring these things directly to you under the PIHOA grant that's brought me out here to the USAPI. And because these are pre-recorded lectures, well, you can watch when you want. And in fact, you can watch as a group, you can watch as a department, or you can watch alone. Really, it's up to you. Now, I do want to mention briefly that these things are accredited. How are they accredited? Well, they're accredited through the Area Health Education Center located in the Federated States of Micronesia. And in particular, it's the FSM AHEC that's under the direction of Dr. Paul Duck and I. So when you complete this Certificate of Professional Practice, you can use it for continuing medical education, continuing new nursing units, or just simply for showing your local human resources department that you're dedicated to continuing to provide quality public public health services here in the USAPI. So, you're going to go out and once a month you're going to watch these about one hour pre-recorded video lectures on a variety of topics related to NCD epidemiology. 
So you might be asking yourself, how am I going to demonstrate what I've learned if there are no tests, there's no exams, and there's no projects? Well, each month when you receive an email from me telling you that the new lecture is available, I want you to go to that YouTube page and watch that lecture or download it to watch later at your convenience. But the point is, you're only going to have a certain amount of time in which you can watch these YouTube lectures. You're going to have about the three and a half week window of time between, I, between when I send you the email saying that video lecture is available and between when I send you the next video lecture. So beginning on the 15th of February 2016 or next Monday, I'm going to send you the link to the first video lecture entitled Introduction to NCD Ep Epidemiology. You then have between the 15th of February and the 14th of March when I'll send you out the next video lecture to watch lecture number one. Okay, So you only have that window of time in which to complete it. But it's about three and a half to four weeks so it should be more than enough time. So, once you've watched that video lecture, what you're going to do is you're going to email me at the address you can see right there on the screen in front of you, brianmangum at fnu.ac.fj. Okay? And when you email me, you're going to tell me three things. That's one, two, three, uno, dos, tres things that you learned from that lecture and that you can apply in your work setting. So please, keep it simple. All I want is a couple of sentences telling me three things you learned and how they apply to your work setting. Okay? Once you send me that, I'm going to mark down in the book that you've completed that lecture. Okay? And then what's going to happen is you're just going to wait for the next video lecture email to come out. You're going to go to that YouTube link and you're going to repeat the process. And we'll do that for all ten of the courses. So what are the courses? Well, you can see them right there in front of you. There's all 10. So we'll start this Monday with Introduction to NCD Epidemiology. Now, I'm not going to read you the list there. You can read it to yourself. But what you can see is there are the titles for each of the 10 courses, and there's their specific release date so that you have that in mind so you can start planning around those release dates with your work and travel schedules because I know that you're busy people. All right, so what about graduation? Well, complete all 10 of the video lectures within the assigned time frame. Email me those three things that you learned from each of the video lectures. And then come November of this year, November 2016, congratulations. You'll have completed your Certificate of Professional Practice in NCD Epidemiology. Well, what about me? Well, there's a lovely picture of me in the upper left-hand corner. Many of you know me already. I've been working out here in the Pacific for about three and a half years. I've worked throughout the Pacific, CNMI, the FSM, Palau, the Marshall Islands, uh, Kiribati, the Solomon Islands, um, American Samoa, Samoa, and of course Fiji, which is where I call home. Because as many of you know, I'm actually an assistant professor of epidemiology and biostatistics at Fiji National University, as well as being an, uh, an assistant professor of epidemiology and public health here at the College of Micromnesia FSM, as well as serving as a consultant epidemiologist to organizations like WHO, PHOA, CDC, the Institute Pasteur, and so on and so forth. And for those of you who've watched some of my other lectures, or for those of you that met me in person during some of my short courses I've delivered throughout the region, you know that I prevent, per, I've spent my entire professional life on islands throughout the Pacific, but also throughout the Caribbean and Latin America, in places like Aruba, St. Kitts, uh, Nevis, uh, and, and other islands like that. So in many ways, I consider myself an islander, all right? And in particular, I consider myself a Pacific Islander now, and I call the Pacific my home. I love it here, and this is where I'm raising my family. I'm married to another epidemiologist who's originally from the States, just like me, but we have four kids. Uh, they're all down in Fiji right now with my lovely wife, who is an assistant professor of epidemiology at Fiji National University, and we're raising our family here. And I'm proud to call the Pacific home. So, 
What about my YouTube page? Well, you've heard me mention it. You know that that's how you're going to get the links to these continuing professional development courses so that you can earn your certificate of professional practice. But I also want you to know that I have a number of public health videos that are currently available sitting there just waiting for you. In fact, you may have received an email from me. All right, there's a number of topics that deal with obesity, obesity control, um, climate change, drought, even Zika virus, which is a current hot button topic here, uh, not only in the Pacific, but throughout the world. So I would encourage you, go to your Google page, Google Brian P. Mangum, one word, YouTube, and I'm the first result that comes up. Or you can see I've got the direct link to my YouTube page there. Go out and watch my videos. Okay, They're about an hour each. Some of them are as short as half an hour. And for each one of those videos that you watch, if you'll send me an email, I can provide you a certificate of professional development. Now remember, a Certificate of Professional Development is different than a Certificate of Professional Practice. The Certificate of Professional Practice requires you complete all 10 courses. But for each of the other little videos that I have there, I'm happy to provide you a Certificate of Professional Development that you can use for continuing education purposes. Well, there you have it. Um, I hope you're as excited as I am. I want to do a quick thank you to our many different partners that have made this program uh, available to you here in the Pacific. In particular, I'd like to thank the Pacific Island Health Officers Association for their wonderful support and for securing a grant from the University of Arizona Zuckerman School of Public Health that's allowed me to come here to the Northern Pacific. And of course, I need to thank the Fiji National University School of Public Health and Primary Care for allowing me to take the time to be seconded up here into the north and for the College of Micronesia FSM and in particular Dr. Paul Duck and I for hosting me during my time in Micronesia and giving me a home and in particular under Dr. Paul Duck and I we want to thank the Pompeii Area Health Education Center for accrediting these things. I also want to mention the newly formed Pacific Basin Public Health Association. If you'd like to learn more about becoming a member of PBHA send me an email and I'll send you some literature and and of course, like I said, none of this could have happened without the cooperation of these wonderful different agencies. And what about you? Many, many, many thanks. Many mahalos to each and every one of you. None of this could happen without you. And you're willing to engage in this professional practice activity. And for your willingness to be out here on the front lines of public health and medicine and nursing and international development here in the Pacific. Thank you for your hard work and dedication. You're making the world a better place every day. So there you have it. Welcome aboard and be looking for that email about the first course in our Certificate of Professional Practice being released next Monday, Monday the 15th of February, 2016.